Hey guys, so I'm traveling. I got this on 7 1923, but this is the first chance I've had to record it. Um, there's three sections. It's Justice, Come, and The Church. Okay, so I'm just going to get to it because I have like, you know, no time. Number one, always. I am always the one that gives justice and then real lightning hit. There are all types of consequences, but when it comes to men's justice, have no fear. What is just for mine is peace, but what is just for those with no faith in me is wrath. Those whom I bring my wrath upon, real lightning hit again, be warned. Wrath is well deserved. Do not have mercy or compassion on anyone who goes through my wrath. I see all things. If they go through wrath, they are deserving. Joy, mine have joy. You have seen that there is a world of difference in those who have my joy. They have my joyful spirit and they have my peace. Real lightning hit again. Be warned. When mine are taken from the earth, I will also take my joy and peace. Everything that is good will be gone. When darkness and evil rule this earth as they have seen fit, it will be a very difficult time. Have hope. No one needs to suffer, real lightning hit, the terrors to come. All who find me through my son can avoid the rule of darkness and evil. Come to me. I offer love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and self-control. I offer an eternal life of bliss. Do not stay for the misery to come. The torturous life under the rule of the evil and darkness. All who reject my free gift of grace will suffer through my wrath and the rule of evil and darkness. Turn from unrighteousness. Come to me. I offer a life of dreams in heaven. Come be part of my family. Come. Number two, ask, seek, knock, pray, cry out to me. I am waiting. The things soon to transpire are not my wrath. These are man's plans. Some will be man's plans gone wrong. In this time of sorrows, ask, seek, and knock. Ask me for help. Seek my words in scripture. Knock on my door for help. Even a neighbor on earth will help. Imagine what I can do. I am the God of the universe. I hold all power. Believe in me and loose my power and I will show up. I remain steadfast. It is my nature. I am God. I do not change. I am the God of the Hebrews of Abraham, Isaac, and David. I am love. I sent my son to earth to be the replacement for sin. My son, Jesus Christ, is the one and only Messiah. There is no other. The soon deception. A sad attempt by man to present a deceitful one to pretend to be my son and my Messiah is a mockery. He is not of me. Those who surround him are of his father, Satan. The one launched as savior of the world is a falsehood. Do not believe in him. Read my son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Read his words, the words in red. That is the true Messiah. That is my son. My son walked on water. He could harness the power of the universe with his thoughts. He could still a raging sea with my power. He healed men with my holy power. He shone like the sun because of my power. This is my son. His true followers, the Christians with pure faith, they will also harness my power. They will do miracles with my power. They will shine with my power. These are from me. The sad attempt man will bring forth as their effort at a Messiah will not be able to do true miracles like mine or my son. He will only have party tricks. The wise and the righteous will not be fooled. His pitiful attempts will not sway those with faith in me. But many in the world, many who lack truth, will follow him. 
following the false messiah will lead to my wrath and it will lead to following the false messiah's cohort, the Antichrist. The Antichrist will not call himself this, nor will the false messiah. Rest assured, much deception will encircle these two. The kings of the earth will all promote one. They are all part of this deception. They wish to help their own rise to power. They are warped. When you see many kings and powerful people elevating the same one, know this, he is a falsehood that leads to my wrath. Avoid the difficulties of my wrath and the torments of the Antichrist's rule, who will rule with Lucifer and his twisted power. No one needs to suffer what horrors are to come. Come to me. I can spare all who come. Come. You who are weary, you who have been fighting the good fight, you who trust me, you who love my son and obey his words, you who live your life apart from the standards of the world, you who are justified, holy, and sanctified, rejoice. Your peace awaits. This race is almost done. Be at peace. No wrath shall touch my own. Number three, hear the voice of the Lord. It is time. The time is here. My own can sense it, the urgency, the imminence. Pray. Pray deception is thwarted. Pray for those I will use for my miracles. Pray for my holy protection and power to surround the church. Pray with fervor. Pray in full faith. Do not doubt. My sheep hear my voice and I hear theirs. I love mine who pray to me. It brings me joy. Here is where my choir of prayer artists lead the chorus. All chime in, every prayer heard and cherished. Pray, church, like you have never prayed before. This is the start of the end. All shall see the glory of my bride. Your beauty shall shine. People will come. The church will grow fast, like in the book of Acts, because of your love, faith, and prayers. Pray, church, pray. Sing the songs of prayer. Sing the songs of worship. Sing the songs of supplication. Sing like never before. There is a place in heaven where important things are stored. We keep every tear. We cherish every prayer. We celebrate every victory. Raise up your prayers. Hold on, church. We are almost done. A short while. Stay faithful. I will be in the clouds looking for you soon. Hold on. Pray. I have unlocked heaven's door. In a short while, the leaders will come through. And soon after, all of my beloved bride will come through. Heaven is real and soon. Do not lose hope. Man and the kings will aim at making the life of my bride difficult. Do not sway. Pray. Pray to my father. He holds all power and will provide for my bride. This is the time we show the world what love looks like. Be my witnesses. Rejoice in any turbulence. This is your time to shine, church. The world is going to be in desperate need of joy, hope, and love very soon. Do not follow suit. Be the example. Be the guide to bring them to me, Jesus the Messiah. You are my living testimonies. Be pure of heart and prepare to be used. We are doing a new thing and you are the key to the success of the church. You, my loves, you, the ones who spend as much time as you can with me in prayer and reading my words, my faithful bride, it is time. Be prepared for use. Together we will save millions from my father's wrath. Hear me, church. The time is now. From the human uprising until the rapture, stay focused, pray, trust. Share me with all who my Holy Spirit leads you to. Your mission is set. Pray in preparation. Stay clear of uncleanness. Pray. Hear the voice of the Lord. Prepare. Your mission is at hand. 
I hope that encourages you and I'll see you next time.